person who needs no introduction. He is the respected administrator of the Nite Education Trust, Mr. Rohit Punja. Sir, I would like to request you to kindly step forward and say a few words on this. Shankar, the Principal Rani, Administrator Mrs. Punja, dear students, parents, guardians, teachers, HODs, guests, and the various people working on making this event what it is today. Good evening to everybody. Firstly, this is your graduation day, dear students. It's a big milestone in your journey on this planet. I congratulate you, I congratulate your parents, and I congratulate teachers for everything you have done to this point to get you here. It's a very proud, very happy moment. Congratulations to you. Thank you. I will spend a little time on two things. One is, in my role here at Nikte, it is my duty to tell you a little about what Nite Education Trust is all about. The trust was begun in 1979. It was begun because Justice K. S. Hegde, who was Supreme Court judge, who was MLA, as not MLA, Speaker of the Lok Sabha, when he retired and went to the town, the home of his wife, Nite, which is now a, now a medium-sized town somewhere between Mangalore and Utpi. So when he went there, he realized children were walking too far to go to school. And he thought that we need to spend more time at school, more time playing, less time walking to school. And that's how a school was created in 1979. It had 76 students. If you fast forward to 2022, there are two campuses in Mangalore. There are three campuses in Bangalore. This is one of them. You have a degree college next door and a NMIT campus near the Air Force. So here you have a school, next door you have a PU college, and a little away you have an engineering college, pharmacy, fashion, diploma, architecture. So there are 43 colleges in the trust. All the colleges continue to have the same attitude philosophy to students. So for example, if you look at the work in the Nite College, Engineering College, yesterday the teacher said, we spend a lot of time doing certain types of work in machine design, in, in mechanical aeronautics. So the college decided to buy a 65 lakh rupee testing machine where they could stress test material. This is just one example of what the college and all the colleges do to keep up to date to offer the best to the students. Another example would be the robotics lab and so on and so forth. The colleges are ranked very high by NIRF. The university is at 77. The pharmacy college is at 45. The dental college at number six. These are all national rankings. So you should be proud to be a part of the NITE community and I wish you very best in your journey ahead.
action and example. He is technically skilled and amateur in his research, a growing musician, presenting the school captain, Bidilitu Bandopadhyay. made sure that our school is well maintained and the place where we gain knowledge is always maintained properly. We thank you for your service. To the graduate family members who made sure the child gets their academic studies without any difficulties, who have sacrificed for their children and did not even allow their child to realize of the difficulties they were going through, we thank you all. I started my journey with Lite all the way back in 2012, in the month of April, when my family decided to move from, Bang from Delhi to Bangalore for better opportunities. My initial thoughts after visiting the school was, why is it inside the jungle? Coming from a background as of Delhi, I was always in places with a lot of people and used to being in overly polluted places. But Nitya gave me quite the opposite experience. For the last nine years, and I, can, I, and I definitely cannot deny the fact, I loved every part of it. I'm truly grateful to Nitya for providing me with the environment and opportunities that make me who I am today. I stand here today in front of you as a school captain of year 2021, completing my schooling in this institution. And I can assure you, though Nitya might be in silence at the moment, I'm sure one day Nitya will be at the top list and will be incomparable to any other given institution. I would like to thank the management and the principal for their down-to-earth efforts toward the school, which has accelerated its growth exponentially. The school wouldn't be standing here winning awards without their effort. Let that be online classes or offline activities of the investiture ceremony or the sports day, not to mention a thousand other things, all while collaborating with external organizations. It wouldn't be possible without our principals, leadership and guidance along with her team members who she always addresses as my pillars, along with the support of the management. We thank you, ma'am. Working hard is important, and I believe it is the only thing that gets work done. But it shouldn't be done by sacrificing things that you have built around you. It should be done only to reach your goals. 
To my fellow graduates, I want you to reflect on yourself and think of the goal you want to accomplish in your life. It can be anything from becoming a millionaire to even getting a reputed institute to complete your further education. The point is, whatever you want to accomplish in your life, do not do it by sacrificing important relationships or people in your life. I reflect on the last nine years of my school life and all I can see is me working hard for my goals. I did not make any memories with my friends, nor spend enough time with my family, and I regret it. But I am glad I learned this lesson now in my life. Imagine if I had learned this lesson when I was 60 plus years old. I'm sure there might be many, I wish I had moments in my mind. So I'm glad I learned this lesson now. All I want to con convey to all of you is that never regret anything at the time where you cannot fix it. Always spend time with your family members and try to create as many happy memories with your friends and work very hard to achieve your dreams. Last but not the least, I would say that no amount of money, titles or accomplishments will help give you, give you a warmth to your hearts at the end of your lives. The relationships you build and the impact you make in everyone's life is what will help you at the end of your life. Thank you and God bless you all. Now, coming to a very ceremonial part of our program, we are going to gaze upon our student council members who have been rightfully elected to serve our school. Give their positions back to the school for their juniors to step in and take charge as their time comes. Next we have our beloved school captain, Bidyuditto Bandopadhyay. The school captain will now hand over the school flag to the respected principal, Miss Rani Sebastian. Let's go home. 